Good morning. It is Wednesday, September 5th, 6th, 6th. Let's go with that. And we've got some changes done. Da -da. So I finally got that. Finally. Got the table set. We've got kids stuff pretty much all in here. Uh, that's the, the Legos they like to play with. Lego for the purists. Um, some friend stuff. Lots of cool things for them. Um, some of the speed champs that my youngest likes to play with. Moved that thing to face here. Cleaned it up a lot. Got rid of a bunch of old tech stuff and uh, books that I'm passing on or were for other phases of life. Uh, took up a little surface area there, which cleared up all of the floor space. Um, this stack still fits here, so that'll stay there for now. I'll eventually put one of probably those rolling things over there uh, once it's this stack has gone through. Um, probably won't keep those boxes. Maybe will. They kind of take up a lot of space for what they are. Um, then just extra fig stuff to go through. But so much better. And the desk even has this little pocket thing to help put in the clipboards and art books and such that my kids use the two chairs side by side so they can, you know, fight next to each other instead of fighting across the room. Uh, still able to get my fan in because this basement I've got the work computers, they run hot. Uh, I do animation, so nice to have a little bit of coolant um, and then my normal bag. Uh, let's see, got a whole bunch of stuff, fig stuff ready to be uploaded later. Uh, ended up clearing out, I had three of these Plano tackle box kind of adjustable things. Um, they were mostly, I've been trying to phase them out because I don't like them at all. They're super obnoxious to deal with. The dividers like to come out too much. So emptied out two, emptied out two of them and then moved those parts either to the tower or to be listed immediately. So that puts us in the tower. We've got those droid and skeleton parts. We've got castle and imperials. We moved all of the Ninjago uh, or ninja helmets, hats, headpieces, and any of their accessories into here. The rebels were there. Um, anything that's kind of adventure or shrouds, the Prince of Persia ones in here too. Uh, we've got the any Star Wars related helmets um, and some of those rebel ones can move up. Um, then space, got astronaut space, classic space, city, any kind of city heads or, hel or uh, helmets or headpieces and such. Some of those will get sorted out and listed in the store, some of them will stay there. Um, and all of the visors, I had a whole section of visors in the the Plano storage thing, so I need to filter through these, maybe pick out some of the expensive ones in order to list them. Uh, but that's good for pulling those. And then we've got seven empty spots. These two being over in the desk just for storage purposes before listing. And I put all food down here. Uh, so as I just have food items, toss them in, and then eventually once it gets full, I can list them all out. And then you already saw the legs and stuff there. So that suits us for this morning. Kids are gonna wake up soon. And those are now put away. Got 146 items with 89 lots. Let's see what this all comes to. 7590. I'm going to check a couple of them, make sure that there's no outliers, but otherwise, there we go. That's today's upload. I have seen variants in pearl gold, but I'm going to tell you, nothing quite compares to this difference here. But that's the only thing it could be is pearl gold, which has... Yeah, a decent amount of variance, but I've never seen quite that difference. That's almost a don't list it kind of difference. But 
Yep, the only other gold it could be is metallic gold. That's definitely not metallic gold. Bags open. Got this dog in here. So when I was first starting out in animation, I modeled a Fiat 500 as one of the very first things, and it set me off on a career of animation that I now do as my full-time job. Uh, I wanted one of these Fiat's for a long time, since I knew that they were a set. It was always more than I wanted to spend on something just for me. And someone was selling a used one for cheap cheap, so I had to pick it up. Uh, the one I modeled was more of blue, probably regular blue, not dark blue, by the Lego shades. Um, definitely not the light blue that the other um, model is in. But I figured I can swap out these pieces for blue from my own collection and have one that looks just like the one that I modeled back when I was in high school. Happy Tuesday, September 12th. It's been a little bit quieter around here for the store. I've been working a lot with my uh, freelance animation in addition to my day job. So that takes up a lot of my uh, morning not so much time to do stuff in the Lego store. However, I did able to hit a few milestones that I wanted to show off. Uh, we hit 120 review count. Most of that is seller. Uh, we've got 169 orders, so not too shabby. 80 plus thousand items with 7,000 plus lots. This is the list of number of items listed in used condition in the United States on today. So, so far today, we're seeing at number five in the number of used items listed, which is a bit tougher than doing new items listed because you could just part out a bunch of sets in one go and call it a day. So, uh, good good milestones all around. Look at this guy. Build it, built it at least once. 11, he's put up 28,000 or 2,800 items today and 400 lots. For some reason, he's not shipped to me. Uh, so that's that. I've been up putting in a lot of techniques, so you know it's easy to put in big, big part numbers <laughs> that way. But it works out. We had this entire thing was full of technic. In addition to, I have three of these kinds, and then this thing in the middle that's similar to one of these. All full of every single compartment was technic pieces. So I've been listing. All of that um, during this week. Uh, been coming up with a system I think works pretty well. Uh, I will pick a category to sort. I will sort it into this stack on the weekend and then throughout the week as I get glimpses of time I'll upload the various pieces from the stack. And that seems to work pretty well to be able to get through categories uh, eventually I'm going to run out once I get through uh, the slopes and the bricks. But I, I have modified plates, so there's there's several categories left I'll be able to, to do. A bit more slow going than if I was doing it full time, obviously. But it helps to be able to keep pieces moving and uh, a little bit less bogged down on stuff. So yeah, a little big Technic upload and that will have taken care of most of my Technic. But then I found this whole bunch so I think I'll use this drawer as a fill it back up thing with Technic. I think this was all in a pab cup I had that I had gone through um, so I'll, I'll wait until this is a bit more full I, I think until I come through and sort it once more that's filling up then got some there some little drawers there and then that's it for the little drawers big drawers I just have those left and then I'm going to have to figure out some kind of either putting in another row there or 
then coming over and starting to utilize this wall space. The guitar doesn't have to stay there. I'm happy to come up with a mount to put it horizontal um, as a potential way to have it still on the wall because at a certain point it's just going to be too tall for an acro container to be able to functionally reach. This is a, you know, it's a pretty tall ceiling. I think it, I made it on purpose to be eight or nine feet. Um, so, yeah, kids are enjoying the new desk and being able to keep all of the stuff organized pretty well for them, so I'm happy with that. Um, can reuse that cubby a little bit more. I need to figure out a better, either a storage solution of boxes or something that can go in there. I still need to work through these. I think that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching.